Hi everyone, I'm Maria Elaine Noble and I have an oracle reading for you for Monday the 6th of October 2014 and today I'm calling upon these lovely angel feather cards to share a message with you. Now I just want to say I love doing these cards, I like sharing messages but remember this really is just a possibility and you really have the final say in how your life unfolds. Beyond the now moment doesn't exist and you can create whatever magic you choose to but remember it starts with your feelings so just take that into this week like I said we're going to have some fun with these cards and it may validate where you currently are at but know that you have the personal power to really create um, an outcome that's pleasing to you and it all stems from your feelings okay so let's see what these um, beautiful message cards would like me to share with you oh here we go oh nice one here we go for those of you who are feeling a little bit of a, um, a shortage at the moment, money is about to manifest. So be on the lookout for some um, additional inflows, or more importantly, trust that all the money you desire has already been created. And it's just waiting for you to become a vibrational match to that, um, that matches the energy of having abundance, and it can flow to you. Because money really is just an energy like everything else, and it comes down to our beliefs. And if we believe that um, we're not worthy of having lots of money, which gives us choices, um, then that's what's going to appear in our reality. So here we go. Number two, practical approach is required. So um, here's the accountant and me. Um, when I'm not doing cards, I help people with their business and their tax returns. And one thing I, I find that is quite common amongst us all is time management we all lead very very busy lives and what I've been suggesting to people if um, you're feeling a little overwhelmed take some time out to look at your weekly overview and start creating like a little timetable of what you can what you must do what you know what are fixed and look at the spare time around you and start filling some of that time in with quality you time Maybe you could pencil in some um, time every day to meditate, even if it's just for 15 minutes at the start of every day. And see if you can also organize some time in your day for some fun time every day. In fact, I'm feeling the urge to share with people that, you know, life is becoming a little bit heavy is the word I want to share. And um, if you can find a few moments every day just to deliberately have some fun, you'll find things shifting. And... Oh, <laughs> here we go. This is the full circle card. So I think you're about to come to an end of a cycle because everything cycles too. Um, and it's a bit like the moon, the moon phases. You know, it comes around every month and we start off with a new moon and we go through um, the days. And your cycle is about to come to a close. And that means you get an opportunity to start something fresh. So Look forward with anticipation and excitement and the universe will definitely reflect that back to you. And here's the final card for this week. Oh, restored health and healing. So here's another lovely timely message that if you've been feeling a little bit blah of late, that there's going to be a beautiful um, inflow of healing energy descending upon you. Okay, everybody, um, that's my message for this week. Remember, the power is yours and I look forward to sharing another message with you next time. Bye.